slowly getting there. <coughs> There's the Macau Tower. Have to go to the top. See what's up there, see what's inside. It's not as big as the stratosphere, I don't think. But I don't know that for sure. I'm just going on how it looks. Do you think it looks bigger than the stratosphere, Pete? I think it's bigger, maybe. What? You think that's taller? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it is. By the time this video's out, we'll know, but at the minute, we're not sure. Just waiting for a, a moment so we can run across. So it looks like you go through the shopping centre to get to the tower. Macau Tower oh, Convention and Entertainment Centre. So maybe not a shopping centre. So we're inside. And there you go, Macau Tower entrance. It's only been open 16 years, just over 15, 16, 15 years, just over. Okay, so there's a few more details on it. The 10th tallest freestanding structure in the world. Now I know the Stratosphere Tower was the tallest freestanding building in America, so still not 100% sure on whether it is or not. Downstairs anyway. Let's see how much it costs to go up. Is there a price, Pete? One, three, five, I've got my ticket, 115, so that's £11.50 to go up to the top of the tower. I think he's doing it. Hey, are you doing it? He's off to do the skywalk. Not the jump, the skywalk. See the one there, walking around the top of it? He's doing that one. Wow, are you really doing it? Yeah, nice one, he's doing it. Wow. You know what it reminds me of? Yeah. Dubai. Is it? Only because you can't see very far, you know, it's dusty. Mm. But this is like foggy, isn't it? Misty. A little bit. A little bit maybe. Only maybe because it's so bare. And then there's a few big buildings. It's not as many buildings like in Hong Kong, is it? No. Yay! So here we are, this is... So can we go higher, P, outside? We can go up another level, let's do that. Let's try and see the outside. Right, which one was that bungee jump? How is it? That's a long bridge. Look at that bridge. There's a gun there. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that's it, 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 that's it. Look that. Right, how do you get upstairs? Lift number two. 
Okay. It drops you off on floor 58, then you have to get the next floor up to 61. So, are you ready? This is the outside observation desk. That's better, isn't it? This is better. It's, um, I'll tell you what it reminds me of, Pete. It reminds me of the Shard, actually. Yeah. Because you're outside, but you're not outside, are you? you one thing wrong there's too many of them girders like you can't get a good view because they're all in the way yeah. do you know what I mean like instead of having miss out ten of them so you can have one bit of glass that's the only thing wrong Okay, so I was on about how tall this tower is. CNN Tower is the top one. And then the Euro Petrum in Germany. Then the Sydney Tower. And then the Tokyo Tower. Then one in Kuala Lumpur. And then the Orient, the Oriental Tower in Shanghai. Then Macau Tower. Then the Ostakino in Russia. The Eiffel Tower the Sky Tower in New Zealand and the Canton Tower in China Canton so I'm um, not really sure where Stratosphere is there whether they've missed it off or whether it's not even in the top 10 ok right I'll go find Pete and then we'll um, head downstairs to the little bit of what's inside this is the open air bit it's a bit like um, the Shard you see there uh, there's there's gaps between the glass and the top so it's not fully open like the Rockefeller and that so we'll head back down to the enclosed part a bit lower down which is not open so let's go down there and have a walk around let's see a bit more of us can't you?